What's up SEO pros, welcome back. Chase Finder here and today I'm gonna to share with you how you can rank for pretty much anything you want on Google without using a single backlink coming up. So something that people usually get mad at me about is that I often say that I rank websites without using backlinks. And what I mean by this is that I can rank for a lot of things without actually having to go and build links. That doesn't mean that the websites don't generate links, doesn't mean that they don't have links pointing to them. It just means that I use a certain method that I'm gonna share with you today to rank the websites and then they acquire backlinks naturally. So if you don't know what I'm talking about, basically Google uh, really likes websites that have authority. And by authority, uh, we mean links or mentions of those websites on other websites. But what I found is that when you're ranking for things that have low competition, you can actually rank very quickly and you can build your way up into having better and better rankings as you start to rank for um, and get traffic for easy keywords. So if we look at the traffic checker in ShineRanker, I'll show you an example of a website, SiphonKing.com. This is a gaming website that I built about a couple years ago, I added maybe, I don't know, 10, 20 posts to the website. And as you can see, it is ranking for things uh, around this game called Rust. So we can see this keyword, it's ranking number five, uh, 880 searches a month. This keyword is ranking number four, 110 searches a month. So another thing I wanna mention is that you don't have to rank number one for a keyword in order to bring in traffic. In fact, um, you can rank for tons of different keywords, not be number one and still uh, have a profitable business that makes a ton of money. So I wanna share with you my step-by-step -step strategy, how I do this, but before I do, I wanna mention that if you wanna follow along, go to shineranker.com, <clears throat> grab the free 10-day trial, or grab my Christmas special. Uh, make sure you grab this though soon because it is about to expire. And this Christmas special, you can get access uh, to ShineRanker, unlimited access, uh, for $250 a year. It breaks down to about 20 bucks a month, which is way cheaper than a lot of the SEO tools that you'll see on the market right now. And uh, along with that, you also get access to all of my courses, over 200 hours of material. You get access to my leads group, uh, private access where you can ask questions and get help with your SEO projects. And uh, obviously you get unlimited access to the tool. So go grab this deal. Again, it's a very good deal. All you have to do to go grab it is go to shineranger.com and click on the little announcement bar up here. All right, so let's talk about what you need to do to get started. So obviously in order to do this, you're gonna need a website. If you don't have a website, uh, that would be the first thing I'd recommend. Just go on somewhere like GoDaddy, go buy a website. It doesn't have to be an exact match website. It could literally have the word uh, cashews on it. It doesn't matter what it's called. Just get a domain so you can start hosting your content somewhere. Now, once you buy a website, you're gonna go into ShineRanker and you're gonna start doing some research for some articles that you wanna rank, some keywords that you wanna rank with articles. So what you're gonna do for that is just gonna click on keyword research, enter topics. Now you can see here, I've been doing some research around Roblox since I have been developing a Roblox game, which if you're interested in that, let me know and I'll make some other videos about that. But um, uh, what I wanna do is I wanna build a website and rank for things around Roblox. Now what's one of the quickest ways that I can do this? All I have to do is go to ShineRanker, click on add project and I can enter in the name of this project. So I'm gonna enter in, okay, Roblox, new Roblox website. And so you don't even have to have a domain to do this to start. Um, you could literally start building this content and then put it on a website afterwards, but obviously it's good to have a website first, just so that way once you get your content made, you can put it directly on the site. But here we see uh, we have under our projects, we click on view project, it says new Roblox site. Now what we're gonna do is we're gonna click on keyword research enter topics and we're going to type in a few ideas we'll just type in roblox we'll type in roblox tips roblox game and shine is going to go and start finding a bunch of different keywords around this topic now what we want to do again is we want to target low difficulty keywords first now what makes a keyword less difficult than another keyword really what it comes down to in my opinion when you click on by the way you click on select all and then check difficulty what we're doing here is we're going to see how many websites have these different keywords in the title of their page. So for instance, with Roblox login, we have eight websites with this as their exact title in their website. And so when you find web, when you find keywords that have low title matches, that means that you're competing with less websites. Uh, for instance, Funky Friday Code 
has a crazy amount of searches and it only has a couple websites that are actually having that exact phrase in their title. And so what's cool about ShineRanker is we can click on track all easy keywords and now if we go to our projects, boom, we have all these easy keywords that we can go for. And if we go by search rate, now we can see all these different keywords. Now it's not always the case that this is completely accurate. For instance, Roblox login is probably a lot more competitive than we think. Um, but here's the thing, with a lot of these different keywords, uh, it really depends on the intent. So for instance, this might be a, co a competitive keyword just because it is a intent for people to find the login. They're just typing it in different than probably most people type it in, uh, which what I'm trying to say here is that if we type in the word cats, right? Um, yes, there's going to be a ton of websites with this in the title of the website. So if we do in title cats and see there are 16 million 500,000 websites with cats in the title of their website. However, if we type in cats with an extra S, it's going to say 75 results. However, uh, Google is probably going to likely recognize this as the same thing. So there's still going to be a lot of websites competing for the same. It's not always the case that the in title match is perfect, but it does give you a good idea. And so what I recommend is instead of going for the massive keywords, like uh, massive searches, like for instance, this one, Try to go for something that has lower searches like down here, 500, 300, 170, because a lot of the time these are going to be more accurate because less people are going to care about ranking for these types of keywords. And these are going to be more accurate than something like this up here, if that makes sense. So let's say we wanted to choose these different keywords right here and we wanted to rank for these on Google. What we're going to do is we're going to click on the different keywords and we're going to actually manage writers, click on manage writers, add writer type in Roblox content creator. And now what we can do, so I have to re-click on these. We can click on these and we can actually assign these keywords to our Roblox writer. And the reason why we're going to actually do this is because now we can click on share dashboard and it this will create a dashboard that we can send to any content writer and they can start targeting these easy keywords first. So I can go on somewhere like Fiverr or Upwork or any sort of hiring website and I can give them this link and say, hey, can you write these articles for me, please? And when you're done, will you attach a Google Doc to the finished URL and switch this status to done? So this is really cool, right? Because we can see how long it's going to take them to write the articles. We can know when they finish it. Sorry about that. And we can see the finished URL right here. So as you can see, these keywords are very, very low competition. Let's just go look and see this one. We'll see in title, boom, Adidas t-shirt, seven results for this keyword, and there's 170 searches a month. Now this is the exact method that I use to rank for a lot of the other, artic uh, other keywords on that other gaming website that I created. Because what we're doing is we're only competing with seven other websites. So for us to rank for something like this, it's going to be pretty easy and we're not going to really need links. Now, as we start getting traffic to our website, we're going to do something where we're going to start actually capturing our traffic. So as you probably seen with most of my websites, for instance, chaserunner.com, uh, I have an email opt-in and I have this on a lot of my blogs as well, where people have to enter their email to get some sort of bonus. So as you start getting free traffic uh, or easy keyword targeted traffic, then you can start grabbing people's emails and then as you start to grab your emails, you're going to start building authority because what's going to happen is as you build new articles, you're going to send out emails and tell people about your new articles. So anytime I come out with a new video like this one, anytime I come out with a blog post, anything that I come out with that I want to do better or perform better or maybe even acquire natural links, I can do that by sending out an email. Uh, my email list just for the my SEO list is about 30,000 people. So if, if I wanted to start acquiring backlinks or I wanted to start in, uh, acquiring, uh, for instance, people clicking on my site or helping me with user metrics or boosting up my videos, anything I want to do, I can do that by taking the easy traffic I got initially, turning them into emails and then remarketing to those emails. Now, this can be used for any website, any uh, niche. It doesn't even have to be that you're trying to rank on just Google. You could take the traffic you get from Google and use that as a way to get people into YouTube videos and rank your YouTube videos. This method here is something that a lot of people overlook. If you look at most websites or most people that do content, even on YouTube or Facebook, they are building views and they're not capturing their traffic. And if you look at your analytics, wherever you're at, Google, YouTube, Facebook, most of the 
views you get on your content are new people. And so if you don't capture those people, you're going to end up probably never seeing them again and you're never gonna really actually capture that traffic and build your authority uh, long-term. Short-term, you might be doing well, but long-term is going to be a big issue. My dog is barking like crazy in the background, but that's pretty much how you rank on Google without having to worry about backlinks. Let me know what you think about this system in the comments. I'd be, I'd love to hear from you. Um, but also make sure you grab the Christmas special, go to shineranker.com. If you can't afford it, just go grab the 10 day free trial, at least trying out, just to try out the tool. Um, but if you do have the money, go grab the Christmas special before it expires. It's going to expire very soon. That's it for today. We'll see you next time. Until then, happy SEOing. See you guys. Bye.